It's that time of year again all over the world. It's spooky season. People are carving pumpkins, black cats running everywhere, making it just a little more creepy. And with that, Pokemon decided to drop a brand new trailer showing off a brand new ghost type Pokemon that will run into in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let's get into it. Okay. This was the first trailer that we got today. On behalf of Naranha Academy's ghost type Pokemon Club, on assignment to find ghost type Pokemon. I saw a couple here earlier. Let's see if they're still around. Deep breaths. I can do this. Hey, Mimikyu confirmed. Love it. Okay. Love that little guy. There's a Gengar. Probably one of my favorite Pokemon for sure. Nothing new though. Nothing new yet. It's just a candle. Looks like a Litwick. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, look at you. You seem friendly. Oh, that thing is adorable. I want one. I want one very badly. Am I really this out of shape? Okay, here we go. He runs even cute. Types. Really sucks the life out of you. Okay, just, just, just one more. She's not okay. He's definitely the sucking the life out. Oh, okay. Nice little close up of the little guy. Well, that's creepy. So we get our brand new look at the ghost type Pokemon. Obviously, it's a dog Pokemon. It looks absolutely adorable and i honestly believe that there's probably going to be an evolution for it because how can you not have an evolution for this little guy right here along with that trailer we got another trailer oh nice mimikyu haunter ghastly and gengar nice oh it's so the picnic time all right so showing off all the little guys inside the game so it does pop out of the ground it is still adorable inside the game gravard he's so cute Oh, he's just a goofy little boy. That is adorable. He looks good in game, which is always a positive. Big Chomp. Alright, so he probably can use dark moves based off of that. That's either crunch or bite. I guess that's probably how you're going to interact with them inside the game. That was very fast. Okay, well there you go. And now we actually know what it looks like inside the game too, which is... Oh, it's a positive. I'm glad they're keeping him pretty similar to what the other trailer made him look like. I, he's adorable looking in this game. Uh, it does look like it's going to be a fun little ghost Pokemon to play with as well. Again, I stated earlier, I hope that we get an evolution of it. I'm sure we will, because how could you not make an evolution of this Pokemon? As always, Pokemon updates their website, so we get a little bit more about Gravard. It has powerful jaws that can shatter bones. A single bite from Gravard can be grievous. Lovely. So Ghost Dog Pokemon, straight ghost type, which we always love. I personally love ghost type Pokemon, one of my favorite types to use. 77 pounds, chunky boy, uh, and has the ability pick up, which, you know, it's a pretty solid move if you ask me. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of stuff we'll be picking up in game, but hey, Gravard's going to be doing that. Gravard additionally lurks on the ground and jumps out while making eerie cries. So normally Gravard barely moves, resting in a peaceful underground spot. Pokes the topmost part of its head above the ground and lights an eerie glow at its tip. So kind of like what Litwick looks like. When a person draws near, Gravard will jump out of the ground while letting out a spooky cry that will startle most unsuspecting people. However, it doesn't appear to do this with ill intent. So my guess is when we see them in game, it's only going to be the little candle that's on the top of its head, which... You know, great. I mean, it's going to be a little more difficult to find them, but I mean, if it jumps out at you, I think we'll be just fine. Additionally, it's friendly and easily gets lonely, but make sure not to play with it too much. Graveyard has a such a friendly and affectionate personality that paying it even the slightest bit of attention will make it so overjoyed that it will follow you wherever you go. Kind of like a stray dog that you find in the real world if you give it food. So, kind of giving an idea there. Uh, of all the Pokemon residing in the Paldea region, it is known to be especially easy to befriend. Again, like a stray dog. Uh, however, Gravar will slowly and in inadvertently absorb the life force of those around it, so it's best not to play with it too much. So it's exactly what we saw inside the first trailer, where the Pokemon trainer was slowly getting exhausted, so I guess it's slowly draining its life force. I do not recommend it as a pet, even though I want one terribly. This was definitely one of the better reveals that they've done uh, for all the Pokemon that they're showing off before Scarlet and Violet releases. And I can't complain, I mean look how adorable Gravar is in this trailer. It looks great, even though it's not exactly how it looks inside of the actual game. 
But, I mean, one of the best trailers by far. I cannot wait to use him in-game, and I cannot wait to see what kind of evolution that he's going to get. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Did you like this reveal, or are you not going to use him at all? Which, I'll be surprised if you don't. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell. We'll be covering a lot more stuff leading up to the release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in just a couple weeks. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video, and enjoy Halloween. Peace!